So guys, we're back, part three of our fantastic day here at Lister, Ross and Lawrence Whitaker. Yeah, we managed to bump into the owner of uh, the Lister Motor Group, uh, who put on this fantastic event uh, today, uh, beautiful weather. What a fantastic selection of cars are up for sale, etc. Some really unique cars. Lawrence, uh, how long have you been involved with, with Lister then in terms of owning the company? So uh, I bought Lister in uh, 2012, and um, you know since then we've you know we've done the continuation cars, we've done the F-Type and the F-Case conversions and you know we've, we're, we're 10 years on pretty much now and uh, it's amazing to have uh, an event like this so many people have come <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a lister so yeah. many people have come so, you know we've had a great turnout it's been really good what was quite impressive we were just looking at one of the lister jaguars over there how you've made how you've made really that model your brand with some of the uh, modifications upgrades that you've done on that particular car and titanium exhaust etc and is, is that is that a common thing that you do then in terms of uh, personalizing and customizing the I, think, cars? I think it just comes from you know really loving cars and you know like i don't know if you're like me but when i whenever i get into a different car i'm always you know critical of which bits i like which bits i don't like how it could be improved and it could be something as simple as a cup holder in the wrong place or it could be something like well this car's not got the right suspension or the power or whatever it is and so you know it, it's, it comes naturally to me to want to enhance and improve the car and and you know at Lister we've, we've, we've we, we do that to obviously the Jaguars um you know the F-Pace and the F-Type we do full carbon fiber body kit reduces the weight new suspension lowered suspension upgraded brakes engine tuned we take the five litre V8 engine to 700 well nearly 700 666 brake horsepower and um, you know we've we've we, we, we've tested them up to 720 horsepower to make sure that they can they can take that kind of power. Um, so we do everything really carefully. We do it with a, like an OEM style quality. That's really important to me. And you know we just ensure that we make a really quality product. We don't sell a lot of cars. Okay. It's, it's a hobby more than a serious thing for me. You know, and uh, <laughs> lucky enough to be able to enjoy it and yes. and. and, and and just be with people who enjoy it as well. Do you have your own private collection? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so um, some of them are here, I guess. Some, some are here, yeah. yeah, some aren't. I mean, I, I probably, I've got quite a large collection now, probably 120 cars. Wow. Yeah, in total. And uh, I just, just car, I listen, I'm car mad. <laughs> yeah, you know, me too. Yeah, car no, mad through and through. And, and, through and uh, just any spare money I get, I buy another car. So, <laughs> so, uh, but, so what are some of the highlights of your collection? Oh, you know, I love all, I love all got, cars. Uh, you know, I, I love about the oldest. Yeah, the oldest. so I've got a 19, uh, I've got a 19, uh, 19 Silver Ghost. Oh, wow. Uh, that's, that's probably the oldest car I've got. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I've just bought a 1904 auto car. Oh, yeah, that's oh, the oldest yeah. car I've got. Yeah, so we're going to need a little bit to brighten in it. Yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, there's only 11 of those now. Um, and, but I just love all cars, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter to me what it is, I just like, I like cars that I've never had before, I like to buy a car I've yeah. never had, I like to drive it, and if, if, if I happen to love it then I keep it, and if I don't love it then we move yeah, it Yeah, on. yeah, yeah, and, have you um, ever had any experience with the cars, I haven't, no, no I haven't, no, no I, I, um, I was looking at the uh, videos of, of the Swedish guy, and the, the Christian, yeah, yeah, Christian, yeah, yeah. the, uh, Manual and automatic gearbox combined and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, but, I think he does a great. I mean, he's he's he's, he's uh, celebrating thirty years yeah. of Kona's, like, I think, or maybe twenty years. I forget, but it's. Uh, I, I know uh, Mr. Pagani a little bit. Oh, okay, um, but I've only met him once or twice. But he's a lovely guy. So and, you've got some Pagani. A Pagani in the I haven't. Place. I'm afraid. No, I okay. haven't got a Pagani either. No, I just. Uh, <laughs> I just. Uh, no, I don't have any of those. Kind. I'm more, more, more of the older classic okay, cars. Okay, no, no, yeah, like Bentley so. blower. And, oh wow. And um, that's you know, iconic. Old old, uh, old cars like that really. And I, I like I like the classic like the XK Jags and yes. um, you know the old Mercedes convertibles yes, and things I like mean, that. No. Old Rolls Royce. I've got a lot of Corniches. I'm a really big fan of the Corniche. Right. Yeah, so I think I think they're a good buy. You know, I think they're going to go up in value as well. So I like I like to buy a car for an investment, but yeah. also one that I enjoy using. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I've got a DB6, and right? Things like that. You know, that, uh, that I just love and, and, and but a very eclectic mix, really, and all different things. It's just yeah, well, that's what takes you takes you to taste in it. And if anybody that's watching the video on a contact list of uh, yep. an inquiry is it. it you can just search for Lister on... Yeah, it's just uh, www.lister.com. Right. So you can go to Lister.com on social media, uh, at Lister Cars, on Instagram and Twitter, and, uh, and Facebook as well. So.
Uh, do you have to send any cars abroad at all? Yeah, yeah, quite a few, like to Canada and wow. uh, yeah, uh, Dubai and places like that. Yeah, we send quite a few cars all around the world and uh, uh, um, uh, all over. Belgium, surprisingly, is quite a popular okay. market for Lister. Um, you know, Switzerland, yeah, you name it, we've, uh, we tend to do. But we get we get inquiries from, I mean, Australia. We, we had an inquiry a few weeks ago from Hiroshima. Oh, wow. Like, wow, you know. Yeah, it's yeah like, wow. It's just yeah. incredible. The, the, the stretch of the brand is, is always surprising to me, to be honest. Lawrence, what does the brand stand for? What is the heritage of Lister? Why would we buy a Lister? So Lister is Britain's oldest racing car company, uh, founded in 1951 by Brian Lister. Uh, it's continually made cars since 51 to the present day. We've never been bankrupt, we've never been in administration, we're just a continually company. I'm only the third owner, which is uh, I think quite unique in the car world. Um, uh, obviously we've had a lot of race success, so um, in, 19, in the 1950s Lister won the British Empire Trophy four times, uh, we won the Brit British GT Championship in 2000 with the Storm, um, but Lister's got a fantastic heritage of racing, you know the value of the cars is so impressive, you know you've got cars worth upwards of two, three million pounds, the original cars, and I think that's what you know attracts people to, to Lister as a company because of the racing heritage and the pedigree, obviously Sterling Moss used to race for Lister, Archie Scott Brown, yeah. I've you know there's got some great people who used to race Lister cars in the day <laughs> and uh, you know that, that's what that, that's what makes the brand special really. Oh it's fun. fantastic to hear this, can I ask you finally just for a, a childhood memory what started the car passion for you back in the day? Oh I think um, when I was about eight uh, you know we didn't have a lot of money and uh, my dad built me by hand, a electric little oh, well, car, lovely. you know, and uh, my dad's very handy, you know, he yeah. likes, likes making things. And uh, I had this little car for, you know, about 10 years, really. Oh, wow. I sold it, I sold it to the neighbours. Um, but like, I, I used to drive this little car everywhere, you know, like, I had a windscreen wiper motor for uh, power and I used to drive it all around and like miles away from home. I used to break down and all sorts of, and I just loved it, you know, and I think that got me into cars from a very young age. And my dad's obviously interested in cars. Yeah. And my dad, my dad loves mechanic. And I'm not as much of a mechanic as my dad is. Yeah, yeah. I prefer uh, driving, <laughs> looking at them. But uh, yeah, I think we've, we've always been a car family, and my yeah. brother loves cars. You know, so. It's, it's just been, you know, our blood, really. Cars just are the gift that yeah. keep on giving. We've got lots of children here today. It's absolutely inspiring to see the next generation falling in love with cars, yeah. getting into side, yeah. car work, the industry. Any final message about the car industry and where we're heading? Oh, do you know, I think it's. I think there's always going to be a passion for you know cars with uh, petrol engines, and, and you know, I think even even if the world completely switches to EV power, which I don't think it is going to do in the next sort of 50 years but I think it might be eventually I think there's a, I think there's a lot of exciting things for car enthusiasts there's synthetic fuels coming about that are, yeah. are nearly completed there's hydrogen yeah. which is quite interesting yeah. yeah you know so I mean I think there's there's, there's lots to um, to love about the future um, and, it, and and I think that obviously people who have classic cars they're actually um, less have an environmental impact than buying a new Tesla because the power of building that car and all the energy that yeah. went into it has long since been mm. uh, uh, repaid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so it's, it's actually more environmentally friendly to keep one car for a long time than it is to go and buy a new Tesla every three years. Yeah. So you know, people should do more of that. Make do amends. Like I, I drive a regularly drive a 1959 Jaguar, and the car is fantastic. You yeah. Know? yeah, could have wished for it to be any better. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Lawrence. No worries. Thank you. Really, an absolute really, pleasure. Really. really Thank you very Goodness. much. Thank you. Uh, everybody will be so fascinated, and those who don't know about uh, Lister now yeah. know where to go and who to contact. And thank you again, the charity work. Could you just tell us again the name of the charity? Yeah, we're doing you're the, the well, it's the UK Air Ambulance. Yeah, just a final uh, charity. Yeah. So I mean, I, I really am passionate about the Air mm. Ambulance because. You know, we, we live in quite a remote place and the ambulance workers are so pushed at the moment and, and you know, the air ambulance quite often is the first port of call for anyone who crashes or has a car accident in the, in the countryside. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, obviously it's very expensive to keep the helicopter and the paramedics going. So it's something that we're really passionate about and I've supported for a long time personally. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we're collecting for those. Oh, well, we appreciate your uh, passion there. And thank you so much for your time and those sentiments there. Russell, a pleasure as usual. Well, there's, there's such 
such a, a sweet shop of fantastic <laughs> vehicles for us to look at. A so, uh, board. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. And there's some bacon butties I hear, so I think yeah, we'll head for the uh, we'll head to the coffee shop and we'll get a brew with a view, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very Absolute much. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Lister. That's great.